everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my absolute favorite Charlotte Tilbury products in celebration of the Charlotte Tilbury sale that is happening today. It starts today and it will go all the way up until July 17th. Lots of great sales going on, you guys. So fun, I'm so excited. I personally love Charlotte Tilbury. You guys know that Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite brands. And I'm so happy to say that today's video is in partnership with Charlotte Tilbury. I always get a little giddy when I say that because this is, a, this is the second time I've worked with Charlotte Tilbury and being that it's one of my absolute favorite brands, I'm always appreciative and very grateful to partner with one of my favorite brands. And I know that none of that would be possible if it wasn't for you guys and your support for me and my channel along my journey. So I am so grateful to you guys for giving me the opportunities to collaborate with a brand like Charlotte Tilbury. So I, before we kind of go into all the cell details, I wanted to let you guys know that I apologize for coming back and saying, hey, I'm back. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oops, I'm not back. So I got back from Florida, started filming again, and then I got word that my grandma got sick. And a couple of months ago, I shared with you guys that my grandma was diagnosed with stage four stomach cancer. And it's, you know, she's got, she's got uh, dementia and it's kind of low grade. She's in and out, right? With what she knows and what she remembers and stuff like that. And I got a call from my mom last week saying that her potassium was really low and she was like at risk for like a heart attack and stuff. So I dropped everything, packed up my bags and I headed to my hometown, stayed down there for a while and hung out with her. We had such a great time. I just, I love her. I do, even though it took her a minute to figure out who I was, but as we continued to chat, she just kind of came back to life and we had the most amazing talk that I will cherish forever. And so anyways, I am officially back. I mean, with my grandma's health kind of declining, it'll be kind of up and down over the next month or two, but I just appreciate your guys' support and patience with me because, oh my gosh, I, I'm back and then I'm gone again and then I'm back and I'm gone again. So anyway, but today's video is gonna be all about Charlotte Tilbury and celebrating the upcoming summer sale. Both face of Charlotte Tilbury, which is the reason why I'm kind of glowing. I keep looking in the monitor and I'm like, Gosh, I love it when I have a full face of Charlotte Tilbury on. It's just one of those things. It never fails me. Now, all of the cell deets will be down in the description box down below, along with all of the links for all the products that I use in today's video. I will leave them down in the description box down below, along with, I will pin it to a comment so that it's easy for you guys to go ahead and find it there in the comment section. The nice thing about a Charlotte Tilbury cell is that they will add things as the cell progresses. You're gonna get up to 40% off of bundles, which I personally like buying bundles because a lot of the bundles are good bundles. Like they have good shades and they have good products in the bundles. So I always like buying a lot of my Charlotte Tilbury products in bundles. And then they're also going to be offering up to 50% off of mystery boxes. And mystery boxes are fun. And I always recommend those to people who are introducing themselves into Charlotte Tilbury and maybe you don't have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products and you're trying to get more Charlotte Tilbury in your collection, mystery boxes are amazing because you get really good stuff. Sale's also gonna be offering up to 40% off of best-selling makeup and skincare items. And I'm also happy to announce that Charlotte Tilbury has their own app and I have downloaded it, I've signed into my account and I am ready for the sale, I'm so excited. For those of you that like early access and wanna know all of the sale details and what new items are being added on to the sale, highly recommend downloading the Charlotte Tilbury app. I'm excited about the app, not only during the sale, you know, getting first access to some of these incredible sale items, but along the year, like getting first access to some of the new launches and stuff. So I am here for this app. Like congratulations to the brand Charlotte Tilbury for having their app. I am here for it. That's pretty much it for the intro. Let's go ahead and jump into a full face of Charlotte Tilbury and how I got this really beautiful skin glowing makeup look. I'm here for it, you guys. I 
love this. We're gonna go ahead and jump into it. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is this. So this is actually the second uh, bottle that I have bought of this. So you guys know I love the Magic Cream, right? Like the Magic Cream has been a love affair of mine for a couple years now. And when they launched the actual body cream, I was just head over excited. I love the way that it makes my skin feel. I love it on my hands. It has kept my skin really soft, nice and nourished. I live in Utah, which is a very dry climate. Winter and summer is very dry, but the winter is extremely dry. So because of that, I wear very emollient based kind of thick lotions. But when I went to Florida, for the month of May, it's not really a place that you wanna wear like really thick emollient based lotions. While I was there, I used up the tube that I took with me and bought another tube while I was there. And this is like the perfect lotion to wear in humidity because it's not super thick and it's not like that real emollient base where it sets heavy on the skin. It blends and like melts into the skin just like the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream does on the face. I need to grab me another tube of this during the sale because I absolutely love it. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about is, this is the cleansing ritual. It's actually a trio because the set comes with a cleansing cloth, which I left mine upstairs but it comes with one of these cloths. So there's three products. It's such a great deal because full price, these are $46 for both. So you get the morning cleanser and the evening cleanser. This has lasted me, I've had this several months. I would say, I don't know, I probably started using it maybe in February-ish. I received this in a PR box from Charlotte Tilbury and I started using it and just fell in love with it. I love it because the one I use in the morning, this one, it gives the skin a nice brightening effect. It does a great job of kind of getting the skin fresh and ready in the morning, but not over cleansing. The charcoal works great because it really goes in there and cleanses good, but it doesn't strip my skin. So I really enjoy it. It's They're both a great cleanser. So let's go into the Magic Rescue. Um, I bought this maybe back in March. I've been using this for years and I just buy the refill. So just like the Magic Cream, okay, these are refillable. You just go in there and pop the little tub out and you can just buy the refill pack, which I love. And I always refill it and put a little bit here in this little tub so I have it down here in my beauty room because this is what I use if I have to wipe my under eyes, like shadow or something, if I'm cleaning up underneath there, this is what I like to put back on the eye. What I love about the Eye Rescue is that it does give the moisture, but it doesn't lay heavy under concealer. And there's a lot of eye creams that you just can't wear under concealer because it's too thick or too emollient based or whatever and it's gonna disrupt the way that your concealer lays, but this one doesn't. So I've loved the Eye Rescue for years, just like the Magic Cream and yeah. You guys so, have heard me talk about the Magic Cream so many times, I'm almost out of this jar. But again, it's refillable. This pops out, this Magic Cream tub, and it's refillable in a nice little fancy jar. So once you buy the jar and you need to rebuy it, you just take out the tub, fill it back in there, pop it in, and you're good to go, which I love that about this. So we're gonna go ahead and put on some of the Magic Cream. So what I also love about the Magic Cream is it lasts forever. Like, it's just one of those creams that, number one, you don't need very much of it. Number two, I love the way, I got it in my hair. I love the way that my makeup feels under this Magic Cream. I have been buying this for years. It's one of my favorites. So I am gonna put on a little bit of the the um, Eye Magic Rescue and literally this is all I use for both. It goes the longest way and you just don't need very much. And I put it on morning and night. It works so well, but you don't need very much. It's getting a little hot, so I think I'm gonna take off my shirt. Ah, oh, much better. I'm gonna start with the Hollywood Falls Filter, which has been one of my absolute favorites for years. I have several shades of this, so I have 4.5, which is probably like the best color for me. But if I want to add a little bit of tan, I will go into 5 or 5.5. This is 4.5. This is 5. And this is 5.5. So I would say 5 has more of like a peachy undertone. 
And then the 5.5 is more of like a bronzy. And then the 4.5 has just more of like a natural, neutral undertone. I'm gonna show you what 5.5 looks like on my neck because some of my fake tan is kind of wore off on my neck. And this is also a really good trick, you guys. So if you're like me and you wear fake tan, but if you're also like me and your fake tan wears off on your neck because of clean cleaning your face like twice a day or whatever, this is a good trick. So I will take 5.5, which is um, a little tan for me, and I will put it right here on my neck and it like covers up like the splotchiness of a fake tan. How much that made it look better. Like instantly that splotchy look from the fake tan kind of wearing off, instantly went away. <laughs> That's amazing. It's like cheating it for another couple of days, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of 5.5, no, five. Sorry, you guys, I'm all confusing. I'll put it down here at the bottom of the screen just so that you guys know. And I'm just gonna blend it all over and it just kind of like, you know, gives me a little bit of color little bit of something on the skin and kind of perfect base to put foundation and concealer and stuff on. Love it. In my last full face of Charlotte Tilbury video, I was using the Light Wonder, which I love. This one right here, oh, I love this. This is like an oldie, but such a goodie. And I, in that video, I put on the Hollywood Falls filter and then I used like, the concealer to kind of spot conceal and then I put this over top just to kind of even it out. And this is still one of my absolute favorites and I use it all the time, okay? I wear it in shade eight medium. But today I'm gonna show you guys how I've been using the Beautiful Skin. When I first got the Beautiful Skin foundation, I struggled with keeping it on, right? So it was one of those that I would put it on and it would look good for like two or three hours and then it would just start kind of pulling away from the skin. I decided to wear it like I have been the Light Wonder, okay? Using the Hollywood Falls filter or not, you don't really need to, but using the concealer as kind of a base and then using this to kind of fill in the, the gaps and kind of even out the skin tone. And it is so beautiful. And the thing is, is that for me with this foundation, less is more. So when I'm using it as more of a, um, like a product that's just more of to even out the skin and stuff, it lasts all day and is so beautiful. If you use too much of it, it, it for me in my complexion and my skin type, it will kind of pull away from the skin, especially in my T-zone area. But if I'm only using a little bit of it just to kind of even out the complexion and going over top, it is such a beautiful foundation. We're gonna use the Beautiful Skin Concealer, which you guys know is my ride or die. I'm absolutely obsessed with this concealer. Shade eight is what I use underneath my eyes, but I use shade nine on my complexion. So, what I mean by that is I use it to kind of spot conceal. Just all the places that I have like hyperpigmentation, red spots, like, you know, acne, scarring, all that. That's just a little bit just to kind of give me a little bit of base coverage. I'm gonna grab shade seven and the Beautiful Skin Foundation. Put a little bit here on the back of my hand, like this much. And then I'm gonna dip my brush kind of into it and really get the foundation kind of into the bristles. And then I'm gonna go over top. And I'm gonna use what's in the bristles to apply over top of the concealer. The reason why I went in with the concealer first is because I wanted the concealer to, to give me the coverage that I need. Instead of relying on the foundation to give me the coverage, just to ensure that I don't use too much of it. I've been wearing it now for probably like two weeks now, 
and I've been loving it. Like love the way that it makes my skin look. When I went home to visit my grandma and stuff, everybody complimented me on how beautiful and radiant my skin looked. And this is pretty much the makeup that I was wearing. Okay, so we're gonna move on to brows. You guys have probably heard me talk about the brow sheet forever since it came out. I absolutely love this brow pencil. It's my favorite. I love how small it is. She's got several brow products, but this is definitely the one that I use pretty much on a daily basis. It's my favorite. I wear it in medium brown. What I also love about this is I just buy the refills, so I don't have to buy the full pencil. So I'm just gonna kind of fill in a few sparse areas out here, just because I recently dyed them, so they're quite dark and full at the moment, which I'm not mad at. What I like to do is to do a few small hair strokes right here, which is another reason why I love this small brow pencil, because it's really, really thin and I'm able to create small little hair strokes with it. Okay, brows are done. Let's go ahead and move on to eyeshadow and then we'll move on to the face. If you guys have watched my Charlotte Tilbury videos, you guys know how much I love the eyes to mesmerize and I have so many of them there here. <laughs> I, I can't even hold all of them up. Four in this hand, four in this hand, and I have two sitting on the table. <laughs> so I have 10 total of Eyes to Mesmerize. The shade I've been really wanting to buy is the shade Champagne. And fortunately for me, Charlotte Tilbury was kind enough to send this to me. So I'm very excited because I have always wanted this color to kind of put and like use on the inner corner to kind of give that like brighter eye look. So I'm excited to try this shade. I really am. Oh, and it's even prettier than I thought it would be. Oh, that's, look how beautiful that is. It's so soft and not too like, it's not too intense. This is just really pretty and kind of flattering on the eye. Right here on the inner corner. Oh, that's so pretty, you guys. See, this would just be pretty all over the eye and call it a day. Like on those like really natural, no makeup makeup looks. The trick with this is to just use a little bit and blend it. Use a little bit and blend it. Um, I never have any issues with this product cracking, creasing, nothing. Like that's why it's one of my favorite cream eyeshadows and that's the reason why I have so many shades. How pretty that is, like before and after. You could totally wear this all on its own. It's just beautiful. I love this color. This is the color I've been wanting to get for a while. And when I saw it in the box, I was like, yay. Again, super creamy, but like dries and sets down. So dependable and just such a great formula. So they also sent over this, which I was really excited about because this is their color chameleon. And this one's in the shade Champagne Diamonds, and this is for blue eyes, which I have blue eyes. So I am really excited about that. But look how gorgeous that color is. So let me show you guys what that looks like next to Champagne, just so you guys can see them swatched side by side. So this is Champagne in the Eyes to Mesmerize, and this is the color Chameleon Champagne Diamonds. So it, you can see it has a little bit more of a shimmer, like if I kind of, move my arm around. They're kind of similar, but then when I move it that way away from the light, direct light, you can kind of see that this is a little bit more, kind of has a little bit of a goldy tone to it, but oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I'm thinking about using that maybe like on the inner corner or something. I've mentioned this before, I'm gonna say it again. One of my absolute favorite quads from Charlotte Tilbury is the Exaggerize, and they sent me a new one, which is, I've been wanting to buy me a new one for a while. This is my favorite quad of all time. So beautiful, so dependable, and it's just one of those everyday tones that goes with everything. I also have the Instant Eyes, Smoky Eyes Are Forever. This is one of my favorite holiday palettes. I've just absolutely loved, loved this palette. I'm gonna dip my brush into this shade. This is one of my favorite transition shades from Charlotte Tilbury because it's like the perfect brown. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. It's a really nice kind of neutral brown. I'm gonna but stick that like right here in the crease, kind of carving out the crease with it. It's a great shade. I use that for so many things. Like I'll pull out that palette just to use the bats in this palette because they're so buttery and so easy to blend. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this color right here in the Exaggerize Quad. I'm gonna put it over top just to give it a little bit of color. I love this shade right here, by the way. Gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna take that shade and I'm gonna put it on my brow bone just to give a tiny bit of highlight right here. It's not one of those shades that's like a straight up shimmer shade. It's got a little bit of a powdery texture to where it's not too shimmery, but it's like the perfect amount of shimmer. Like there's certain shimmer shades that you, that are a little bit too much on the brow bone because you can tell even if it's like a highlighter, like if you're grabbing like a regular highlighter, but that shade is like the perfect brow bone highlighter because it just brightened that brow bone up, but without noticing that, that there's something there as far as like a shimmer shadow, right? And that's one of my favorite things about that. And I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. I'm gonna bring that like right here on this outer corner. And I'm I'm gonna bring a little bit of that on the brow bone right there. And I'm gonna go back to the Exaggerize palette and go into the shade right here. And I'm gonna use that to kind of blend it out. The one thing I did wanna mention is that when I got done with my brows off camera, I went ahead and grabbed this. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, the packaging is really small and really, yeah. Hold on, let me read what this says. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. I don't know what it's called. It's a gloss, it's a lip gloss. I'll put it down here at the bottom of the screen because I can't remember what it's called, but look at the pigmentation on this. Look at the pigment on that. The I mean, the opacity on this is incredible. It, so I put that on off camera and I was like, dang, that is beautiful. That is a gorgeous gloss. Uh, before we move on to the lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some concealer. But before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this. So this is the color corrector from Charlotte Tilbury and I have it in shade two medium. It's a really nice kind of peachy color and it's perfect for my under eyes, and the littlest amount goes the longest way. Again, I've had this for years too. <laughs> I've definitely had this for years. So I like to just take a tiny bit with a brush, and that's a little bit too much. I'll tap off on the back of my hand, and just kind of bring it like right there on those inner corners where I have some of that darkness but you just don't need very much of it. So like now I'm gonna grab the shade eight medium in the beautiful skin. I'm gonna kinda wipe off the applicator. I like to wipe off the applicator because, because it prevents me from applying too much. So I'm using what's on the kind of like what's in the sponge basically to apply and that you know, I also wiped it off. So now I'm just kind of using the sponge to kind of blend it out. I know it looks like a lot, but you guys, it's really not because I wiped it off. <laughs> I always have people say, I think you used too much. I think you used too much concealer. I'm like, I promise I didn't. And I've been, don't get me wrong. I've been heavy handed with concealer, but what I will say that I love about the Beautiful Skin Concealer is that even if I do get heavy handed with it, it's very forgiving. So it's not one of those that's gonna lay really heavy on those under eyes. And so I love it for that reason, but it just blends out and looks so amazing. And there's something about concealer, you guys. Like, I don't know if you guys are like me, but for, for me personally, concealer kind of brings it together, like brings everything to life. And I am gonna grab my pencil from Charlotte Tilbury this is the Rock and Coal, but this one's in the shade I Cheat. I'm gonna use this on my lower lash line to brighten up my eyes. I just love the way that it kind of opens the eye 
and I love that it's a skin tone and it's not white. I don't like white eyeliner, but I love it when it is kind of this like creamy, more like skin tone look. We have that done. I'm gonna go back to the Smoky Eyes Are Forever palette and I'm gonna grab this shade and I'm gonna bring that like right there along the lash line. Then I'm gonna take a smudge brush and lightly, like the lightest amount, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I'm gonna tap off because it's really, I don't want it to be too dark. And I'm gonna bring that like right out here. And then I'm gonna go back into the Exaggerize palette and I'm gonna grab this shade right here and I'm gonna use that shade to kind of blend it all together. I wonder what this would look like on the inner corner. Ooh, I really like that. Okay, so this is that color chameleon in the Champagne Diamonds. So I'm just kind of like putting it right here on that like tear duct. That's really pretty, isn't it? See how much brighter it looked right there? Like right there on that tear duct? Oh yes, that is, I love that. We're gonna move on to mascara and I'm gonna use the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes in the shade Dream Pop. That's the color of it. Isn't that really pretty? I'm, I'm excited to use that color as mascara, on, especially on the lower lashes. So I'm just gonna put it on and it might just be like really soft. Still define the lashes, but very soft, you know? So this is what it looks like with the mascara on the lower lash line and without. Oh, I love that mascara for the lower lash line, you guys kind of gives the lower lashes some dimension, but without being too overwhelming like black can be. Like, oh crap. Oftentimes, I just made a boo-boo, but oftentimes I haven't been wearing uh, mascara on the lower lash line because I kind of just feel like it's too much. You know what I mean? But with this color, it's super soft and much more natural. I'm waiting for that to dry before I scrape it off. So I'm gonna use the black um, push-up mascara from Charlotte Tilbury right here on the tips of my Lashify just to kind of define them a little bit. Eyes are done, let's go ahead and move on to the face. We're gonna start with the Hollywood Contour Wand because it's one of my favorites. And I have this in the shade medium deep. And I'm just gonna put a few dots. I love the way this stuff blends out. It's so natural. And I haven't squeezed anything into the sponge tip. I'm just using what's in the sponge tip, which is the reason why I'm kind of you know, doing it so much. But I went ahead and squeezed the product into the tube. I would have only done like one dot of it, but because it's there's not a lot of product in the sponge, I was able to kind of do it like that. Now I'm gonna use the Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. This one's in the shade two medium, I believe. Yeah, two medium. And I'm just gonna dip into it with the same brush. And I'm kind of going a little bit higher to where that contour line was. You can kind of see the contour line like right there. And now I'm just going like above it. Just to give me a little bit of bronze, you know. But a very natural bronze. My new favorite Charlotte Tilbury blush products are these, so these are the Matte Beauty Blush Wands. This formula is like one of the best matte liquid blushes out on the market. Like, it is perfection. I'm also gonna be using a powder blush. I'm gonna use the shade Pillow Talk. They were kind enough to send this to me, and I'm excited to try the shade. In my personal collection, I also have the Pillow Talk Intense. So this is what Pillow Talk Intense looks like. This right here is the original and this is the Intense. And they're gorgeous. In the in Charlotte Tilbury's Cheek to Chic Blush Pops, the middle ring right here is 
kind of a little bit of a shimmering look. It As your brush kind of goes in and picks up the product, pairs so well together when you pick them up in the brush. So that's what that middle ring is. It kind of gives a little bit of a soft, very soft, beautiful shimmer to the blush. So this is the Pillow Talk and this is the Pillow Talk Intense. They're both really beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the regular Pillow Talk on. Why have I not bought that blush before now? Gosh, that's beautiful. What has taken me so long to buy this blush? Oh, that pillow talk is beautiful. Just for fun, I'm gonna add a little bit of the pink pop in the matte blushes, and I'm gonna use like a wispy brush, and I'm just gonna pick up a tiny bit of this, like the smallest amount, and I'm gonna put it like right here on the high point of the cheek just to add a little bit of um you know a little pop of pink but because it's matte it's so natural and it blends out so beautifully oh they're so pretty together right and that's what i love about this matte blush from charlotte tilbury the liquid is that you can put it straight over top of powder I have been able to do that and it works perfect. Of course, my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I mean, you guys know it's my favorite. <laughs> I have hit pan on it. I hit pan on it when I was in Florida. It is what it is. So I'm gonna put a little bit of it here underneath my eyes, just to kind of smooth everything out. And down the center, the forehead. And I'm just gonna pick up the powder like this and get it into the bristles. And tap it into place. Just to kind of smooth everything out. I always love the way my makeup turns out when I use the full face of Charlotte Tilbury. It like never fails. There's never been a day that I have done a full face of Charlotte Tilbury that I have not loved my makeup. <laughs> it just, it never fails me. It never ever fails me. And I just, I love it so much. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. So I have this little travel one that I need to refill, but I'm gonna use this new one that I have. So on TikTok recently, there was a video of a girl who was, she was testing all the setting sprays and she'd put the foundation on her, on her hand or maybe it was eyeshadow, I can't remember. But anyway, she had this one from Charlotte Tilbury and she had several other brands and this one like set that makeup and it actually stayed in place. Like she tried to wipe it and she had a harder time wiping it off once she sprayed the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. There is something to be said about how durable and good this setting spray works. It really works well. It locks and loads your makeup, but it also kind of gives you a little bit of like a natural glow, but it also keeps the makeup in place. So I appreciate that. So I'm gonna give it a good shake. And then I'm gonna fan, cause yes, I do like to use fan when I, spray my setting spray, <laughs> I just do. Now we're gonna move on to lips. Charlotte Tilbury was kind enough to send me six of these shades. So these are the new uh, Airbrush Flawless Lip Blur. It's a matte meets moisture liquid lipsticks. And I have heard so many people absolutely loving this new matte lip blur uh, product from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm really excited to try it because I haven't tried it yet. But I have been seeing these all over social media. They're all over TikTok, all over Instagram. Everybody's raving about the formula and how incredible it is. So I'm excited. Here are the colors. This is Rose Blur. This is Ruby Blur. This is Pillow Talk Medium. This is Pillow Talk. This is Flame right here. And this is Walk of No Shame. So those are the six shades that was sent to me and I am so excited. I I have the Pillow Talk lip liner, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the Pillow Talk on just to see what it looks like with the Pillow Talk liner. So I'm gonna take the Pillow Talk liner and line my lips. And 
then I'm gonna put, by the way, this is what the applicator looks like. So I'm gonna zoom in on the applicator so you guys can see it. See how nice and like small and precise that is? It's a good applicator. Mm, that is so pretty with the pillow talk. It's a really soft, buttery formula. Impressed. And they're not coming off. <laughs> they are not coming off. I'm going to have to scrub it off my hands because they do not want to come off. Like, oh my goodness. It took me a bit forever to find the pillow talk in the lipstick. So I had to get out my glasses. Okay. So, so this is the Pillow Talk in the Matte Revolution lipstick. And then this is the new Pillow Talk in the Liquid Blur. So they're different. They're not the same. This, this one's a little darker, a little different. This is the Pillow Talk Deep next to the Matte Revolution. It kind of has the same tone, but just darker. This is a completely different tone, which I'm not mad at that. I'm just, I'm just saying that they look different. What I can tell you is this feels very comfortable and very lightweight on the lip. And I'll be honest with you, it feels very similar to the Matte Revolution lipstick, but just in a liquid form. So if you like the Matte Revolution lipstick, you might really, really like this liquid one because it feels the same. It's just in a liquid. So that's it, you guys. That is a full face of Charlotte Tilbury in celebration of the summer sell. Everything I used in today's video, of course, I will have it all linked down in the description box down below. And thank you again to Charlotte Tilbury for partnering with me on this video. I'm very, very grateful for the opportunity to work with them again. It's one of my favorite brands and I always love working with my favorite brand because it's very easy for me to share my favorite products from my favorite brand. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy to be back and thank you guys for your patience and waiting for me to come back. I was all ready to go and then my grandma got sick and it is what it is. It's going to be up and down for probably the next month or so. But anyways, thank you guys all so much for your love and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.